Hey guys, welcome to the Field of 68 YouTube channel. If you like what you see here, hit that subscribe button and you'll get more college basketball content just like this. Team Heroics from Villanova took everything to get past DePaul and save their season tonight in the Big East tournament. They're moving on amazingly after a game winning three pointer there. 58 to 57 is your final. Eric Dixon, big shots, 21 and 9 tonight for Villanova. But them being in the tournament doesn't necessarily sit right with you, does it, Rob? Doster? John, John, give me give me an honest answer on this. All right, I want I want your sincere opinion. Should Villanova's season be saved? Does it deserve to be saved? Like, are we? They're sitting here right uh, now. I would say, I, they are. I would say no. I would say no. I would say they're not. Yeah, they're eighteen of fourteen overall. They lost to St. Joe's. They lost to Drexel. They lost to Penn. They lost at home to to St. John's. They have four losses outside of the the, the top quadrant. Right? They are four yeah. and ten against quad one opponents. Why are we saving their season? Why does their season need to be saved? They just, they like the idea that because they go into the Big East tournament and they go into Madison Square Garden and if they find a way to beat a Marquette team that oh by the way doesn't have Tyler Kolick. And they win that game and they get in the NCAA tournament at what? They'll be 19 and 14. And then they lose to Creighton. They'll be 19 and 15. We're going to send a 19 and 15 Villanova team to the NCAA tournament over teams that won 29 games over somebody like an in Indiana State who everybody wants to see. Not a single person yeah. in America outside of the main line wants to see Villanova in the NCAA tournament with 15 losses. Okay. I understand that, that, that Indiana State lost to Illinois State at home i understand all that i understand the loss at southern illinois which by the way is not as bad of a loss as losing to st joe's at home or drexel on a neutral or at penn for the record why 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 should we save their season i i'm sitting here right now i'm a big east guy right i'm going to the big east tournament tomorrow i'm going to be up there for all four of those games i can't wait by the way, there is nothing better than madison square garden this week in march when you get to the big east tournament i don't I wish DePaul was there. I wish we got the Paul Marquette tomorrow. I, it feels weird saying it, but I wish somebody would have just put Villanova out of their misery so we didn't have to have this conversation. This team needed a buzzer beater, not a buzzer beater, a game winner with 10 seconds left from Justin Moore yep. to beat a DePaul team that had not won a yeah. single game in the Big East all season long. Like, what are we even talking about here, yeah. man? And if they beat Marquette without Tyler Kolick, we're going to put him in a dance? No. It'll be it'll be hard pass. They may, they may be in the dance now. I mean that's 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 the thing. I mean you you don't think if they you don't think no matter what they're in you don't believe that. No, right now our fielding the sixty eight guys have Villanova as the third team out. Um, they have them behind Indiana State and New Mexico who are neither in the tournament, and they have Texas A and M in the dance. Okay, let's talk about Texas A and M here. Okay, <laughs> they have four quad three losses. Here's who they've lost to. They lost to Ole Miss at home. Ole Miss stinks. They lost to LSU at home. LSU stinks. They lost to Arkansas at home. Arkansas stinks. They lost at Vanderbilt. Vanderbilt stinks. They have a loss at home to South Carolina. That's a quad two loss for the record. They lost at home to your Memphis Tigers, John Martin. They lost at Arkansas. They got swept by Arkansas. And here are the wins that they have. Look, they beat Tennessee at home by 16. That is a great win. They beat Kentucky at home in overtime. That is a great win. At Ohio State, are we really that proud of winning at Ohio State? That was like a quad three win until Jake Dealer showed up and saved their damn better, season. Yeah. They won at SMU. Who gives a damn about SMU? What are we doing? Texas A&M is in the tournament right now? Am I losing my mind? Am I taking crazy pills? They suck. They're terrible. What are we doing yeah. here? I got to talk to the 68 guy. Well, yeah. I mean, I, look, I, I, I for, for the field and 68 guys, I was really going to bat for you before the show started. I, I, can't, I obviously don't have – control over what happens in the off season but it but it does feel like this year and I, I don't know i'd have to look back rob but it feels like this year when you get past the top four that four line that there's just like there's no quality there's no quality am i am i like like is like show me one team outside that four line that you could look at and say yeah they can make a run. And usually, they, like like last year, you had multiple teams in a Final Four past the four line. And this year, it just feels really, really weak, man. It feels like there's a gigantic drop-off. And that's why teams like Villanova, A&M, Michigan State, Kansas State, et cetera, are going to maybe be able to find their way in because it's so damn weak this year. Yeah, and, and look, my the thing that frustrates me more than anything else when it comes to – 
getting teams in the tournament, not necessarily seeding them, right? When it comes to getting teams into the tournament is the avoidance of losses. Like, I understand that Texas A&M is playing in the SEC. I get that the SEC is a better league than than the Missouri Valley is. But I promise you that if you gave Indiana State 18 chances at SEC teams, if you told them that you're going to get nine SEC teams at home, the Indiana State would be able to get like close to a 500 record. They'd be able to put up some kind of season where they would have a resume that looks in similar to what these other bubble teams are doing. Right. The problem is, and I was I went back and forth with someone today about this. The problem is they don't have They're that like, access, Rob. That's the problem. Yeah. They don't have the like, bats. Yeah. It, it, they were like Indiana State lost to two high major teams, both of them by double digits. You know where they lost to those two games, those those, those the, to those two teams? On the road. Okay. Don't talk to me about how bad these losses are, how bad a team is losing to a high major team until someone will go play there. All right. Go to Terre Haute. Go play them on their own floor. Go play them in the, the the building that Larry Bird built, right? Until that happens, I don't want to hear about the struggling with the mid-major teams and then struggling with these high-major teams and what the, the record is against the top level. Everything's on the road, man. We know how hard it is to win on the road in college basketball. How many ranked teams this season lost on the road to unranked teams? It was a record. I think it was like 37% of the time the ranked team won on the road against an unranked team in league play. And you're going to sit here and tell me that Indiana State can't make the NCAA tournament because they won 28 games, but the two times they played on the road against a high major opponent who wins their games at home against ranked teams, that that's why they're out? Come on, man. This is it's. I understand that the deck is stacked against mid-major teams, right? It's not fair the way that it works. But when you have someone that can do what Indiana right. State does, that has done what New Mexico does, reward them. Don't reward Texas A&M, who has four quad three losses. What the fuck is the point of a quadrant system if you have four quad three losses, you're four ten against quadrant one, and you're going to get into the NCAA tournament? What are we doing here, man? Blow it up. Blow up the system. Why are we well, here? Why are we having this conversation? It's well, ridiculous. Thing, like- Let me tell you about our newest partner for the month of March, Splash Sports, the home of certified community competition where you get to play against your friends and not the house. Whatever game it is that you are playing from survivors to tears to pick X, the safest way to play for real money without the hassle of having to track down deposits or worry about payments is through Splash. They have partnered with PaySafe, the best deposit and payment system in the world to ensure that money stays in safe hands and is delivered to the right places. To join the Field of 68 Survivor Madness, Click the link in our profile below and join in. Entries are five bucks a pop with a prize pool of up to $4,500. Winner take all. It's almost it's almost an argument for what we've we've sort of railed against doing, which is expanding the tournament. Um, it's almost an argument. Everything you're saying is if you expanded this to 76, for example, maybe Indiana State is in. But I'm I'm too cynical to believe that shit. <laughs> I'm too cynical to believe that shit because we're already seeing it in the college football playoff. When the field expands, it ain't for the guy in the mid-major. Look, okay? John, let's be honest. It's for right? getting more let's power leagues teams in. There's a one reason yeah. why the tournament is, is expanding. Uh, one single reason why the NCAA would okay this. It's because they are trying to appease the athletic directors and the conference commissioners at the Big Ten and the SEC who want to leave, who want to get the hell out, who want to say, oh, you know what? We could do a tournament and we'll keep all the money for ourselves. That's the only reason it's expanding is to be able to appease those guys. Okay. And you, you think these dudes that are, are expanding the tournament? <laughs> Great. You were marked the other day. Did you see what he said? You see his quote? He's like, we need to yeah. make sure that we can get more of our teams into the NCAA tournament. Motherfucker, you're getting 11 in already. We're talking about Kansas State, who went 19 and 13. Yeah. Look, uh, Jerome Tang, you're my guy. I love you, right? Th- you had a great season this year when you lost two of your top six players. But the profile you have right now is not as good as the profile for Indiana State, all right? These big 12 teams that we're arguing about on the bubble, right, th- there's going to be 10 of them in already. Brett Yolmark, you don't need more teams in. You already got 71% of your league in the tournament. What are we talking about here? What are we doing? Yep. That is why they're expanding is to be able to give more access to these teams in the power conferences. They're not going to give it to the mid-majors. Now, if you were to sit here and tell me, John, if we were to put pen to paper and say we are going to yep. expand it to a 76-team tournament and you have to be able to get three mid-major regular season champions that don't win – the uh the automatic bid that i'm i'm good with okay that means 
Indiana State's in the dance. That means somebody like an Appalachian State's in the dance. That means you get some at-large bids from the mid-major so no chance I'm good cool with that. No, no chance you're getting no that. No chance you're getting that. Yeah. No chance you're getting that. Do you, think, do you think Indiana State would be in if the field was 76 this year? Yes, I do. I do. I think that their resume is strong enough that they'd be able to get. If you added eight more teams, go, go look at like the the I, next I hope four. You're right, man. I hope you're right. Go look at the I next just, four hours. Like, it gets really ugly. I know, man. But damn, it's bad. I, I, it's I do think those- you're right. I do. I, I I do think you know they're because they're it's too good. It's too obvious this year. But there are going to be some years, Rob, where you know it ain't going to be that obvious as a 30 win non power league team. And they and that team. Thank you for watching the field of 68. If you've enjoyed what you've seen here, hit that like button, share this link with your friends, or check out the description for some other places that you can consume field 68 content.